Hi guys, welcome to our section how to simplify exponential expressions. An exponential expression looks like this. You're going to have the exponent on the top and the base is basically here, the 2. What's this, what does this mean, 2 to the 5th? That means that 2 is being cloned 5 times. So this is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or let's say that you have x cubed. That is the same as x times x times x. Let's go ahead and see the rules. When you have the same base, the only thing you need to do is to add the exponents. So a squared times a to the fifth power is equal to a to the seventh power. What about if I have a parenthesis? Well, look how easy. You just multiply a squared and then 2 times 5 is equal to a to the tenth. Now, what about when I'm dividing? Don't forget, this guy here, a to the fifth, is the same as cloning the a five times. a to the ten, it is the same as cloning the a ten times. Now, I can go ahead and eliminate because they're being multiplied. So, look, I kill this guy with this guy, eliminate this guy with this guy, and I keep going until I don't have anything to the top. How many a's do I have left? Well, here I can see that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 a's left. But remember, they are on the bottom. The only thing that I have on the top is just basically a 1. So this is the same as 1 over a to the fifth. What about when I have a negative exponent? Well, look how easy. The only thing you have to do is just to put it on the bottom. It's very important to remember this. Anytime I move the letters from the top to the bottom and vice versa, the sign is going to change. We're going to do a couple examples just in a little bit. Now, anytime you have anything elevated to the zero, my answer is one. Important, you have to remember this rule. Also, anytime that anything is elevated to one, it's just the same thing. So, let's go ahead and do some examples. Let's say that they tell you to simplify this expression. Well, let's go ahead and follow the rules. Let's look at the top. On the top, I have four A's. One, two, three, four. I have six B. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the bottom, I do exactly the same. Now, don't forget, I'm just explaining how to do this. Later on, you're going to see how easy it is to do this mentally. But for now, I just want you to understand the concept. Since I have four A's on the top and three on the bottom, I can actually just eliminate, as you can see what I'm doing here. And this is the fun part of exponential expressions. Bingo, I only have one A on the top. Let's go ahead and do the same. Uh, don't forget, you have eight on the bottom and six on the top. Well, let's see, if I eliminate all of these guys with six here, the only thing I'm going to have is two b's left. And look how beautiful this is. 8 over b times b. However, b times b is b squared. That's it. That's how easy that's going to be. Let's do one a little bit more complicated. Now, I have all this elevated to the 3. Don't forget, there is an invisible one right here. The first thing we need to do is to distribute the exponent to every single one including the 2. Now, what do I get? I get 2 to the 3, 4 times 3 is 12, 6 and 3 is 18. Every one has to be multiplied. A lot of people tend to forget the number, so make sure you don't forget it so you can get an A on that test. Now, 2 to the 3 is the same as 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, 2 to the 3 is equal to 8. Now, let's go back. This guy is going to become an 8. Let's go ahead and put with my handwritten here, 8. 8 to the 12, I have 12 A's on the top, 3 on the bottom. Remember, we're doing this mentally. If I have 12 on the top and 3 on the bottom and I eliminate, the only thing that's going to be left over is going to be 9 on the top. Also, think about it. If I have 18 bits on the top and only 8 on the bottom, 
They're gonna eliminate, and the only thing that I'm gonna have left is gonna be 10 bees on the top. So my final answer is gonna look like this. If you're having trouble understanding this, just remember, just write down for right now, 18 bees on the top, A on the bottom, and then eliminate, and you're gonna see that you're gonna get the same answer. Basically, we're, ju we're just uh, subtracting um, these guys, but I think it's just easier to understand this mentally. Otherwise, I promise you, any way you do it, you're gonna get the right answer. Let's do another one. Remember, the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and distribute. Now, this guy is negative. Mm, what do I do? Not a problem. You do exactly the same. Three, and there's a one here. And did you see exactly what I'm doing? Now, there's another one here. So I get negative three times one is negative three. Negative three times four is negative 12. Negative three times one is negative three. The bottom, nothing's happening. But now I have all of these disgusting negative exponents. What do I do? Well, look at this. If I have something that looks like this, if I pass it to the bottom, it's actually gonna be positive. The same thing applies if I go backwards. For example, this a to the negative three, if I move this guy to the top, he's actually gonna become positive. And if I move this 12 to the bottom, it's actually gonna become positive. So my trick is anytime you have negative exponent, just move them so they become positive. So this 12 is gonna go to the bottom, this negative three is gonna go to the top, negative A is gonna go to the top, and negative three is gonna go to the bottom. I can go ahead and switch them. Now, the first one that I'm gonna move is gonna be this negative three. As you can see here, I just moved the three to the negative three to the bottom. Now, this negative 12, I'm gonna move him to the bottom, and this negative three, I'm gonna move him to the top. When I move then, the sign changes. Now, I did the same with the eight, and I did the same with the three. Bingo, everyone is positive, so now I'm happy. Also, don't forget, 3 cubed is the same as 3 times 3 times 3. So that is 3 times 3 is equals to 9. 9 times 3 is equals to 27. Finally, that 27 has to be multiplied with this 9. And that's going to give me 243. Now let's do the variables. Remember, you have 3 on the top, 12 on the bottom. Well only nine are gonna be left over on the bottom. Also I have eight on the top, three on the bottom, and you can tell me that you're only gonna have five left because remember there are eight in the top, three on the bottom, they eliminate. Bingo, that's it, this is my answer. Let's just go ahead and do the last one. How do I do this? Don't forget, first of all, I can only when I'm multiplying these exponents, do the ones that have the same base. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to solve this two cube. Two cube is the same as eight. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna do eight times four, which is equals two. Oops, actually no, let's go ahead and do the letters first. I have eight to the fifth, and then I have eight to the fourth. Remember, when you're multiplying exponents, you have to add that, um, the, you just keep the same base and you add the top. Finally, I do eight times four, which is 32. And then this B is negative. So what do I do? You always wanna leave your answer with, negative, uh, with positive exponents. Therefore, this B to a negative two has to go to the bottom. Because remember, anytime you move back and forward, the sign changes. And that's it, this is my final answer. As you can see here, this is the last example that we have. Exponents are sometimes a pain in the neck, so uh, you just need to practice, and that's it. I hope that you learned a lot today, and again, thank you.